So asthma is an inflammatory condition of the airways. It's a chronic condition, oftentimes presents with wheezing or shortness of breath or coughing. People oftentimes cough when they laugh. Cough or shortness of breath may occur when they're exercising. Uh, coughing and shortness of breath may worsen at night. And uh, we have different ways of diagnosing the disease. Uh, we do skin testing to try to identify allergic triggers. And we're trying to identify whether or not, number one, the person is atopic or allergic, and also trying to identify the individual allergens that might contribute to an asthma flare for a patient. We have spirometry that we do where we have the patient blow into our machine and we get lung functions and we can see what, uh, what their lungs look like. Uh, oftentimes we may then challenge the patient's lung with a bronchodilator and see if they improve in their lung function. We don't really fully understand what causes asthma. There's a genetic role, so if a patient's mom or dad has asthma, that puts them at uh, greater risk. Uh, viral infections in early childhood may contribute, um, exposure to tobacco smoke. In my world, uh, allergies, of course, are, are a, a significant trigger. Cats, dogs, pollen, dust mite, that kind of thing. As far as assessing asthma control, there's a simple rule that if the patient is having symptoms more than twice a week, or using their rescue inhaler more than twice a week, or waking up out of sleep, coughing or shorter breath more than twice in a month, then their asthma is not controlled. There's an array of treatments that we have available for asthma. Um, trigger avoidance is important. Avoid their cat or their dog that may be contributing to their symptoms. Um, there's an array of medications that we use, uh, fast onset relievers like albuterol uh, that we uh, make available to all our patients. And then there are controlling medications that help address the inflammation uh, that drives asthma.